The agroecology major, we're really aiming to train the next generation of people to make the world a better place. The major is really geared to give students a really broad understanding of issues related to agroecology, agriculture, and food systems so that it can prepare them to do a number of different types of careers. I very much try to work between time in the classroom and hands-on experiences. So growing, if we're going to talk about temperature, then we're going to grow current plants and look at how they respond to temperature. There's things that I can show in videos. There are things that I can show with pictures and data. But to actually come down and say, this is what soil looks like when it's high in organic matter, and this is what soil looks like when it's not high in organic matter, and be able to just physically compare them side by side is such a deeper learning experience. The farm is really integral to the new agroecology major. It's a way to really ground what you learn in the classroom and actually put it into your hands and put it at your fingertips. The two are absolutely essential to pair together, right? You can't just be on the farm learning by doing. There's so much that's progressed in the field of agroecology that having a broader scope that the courses offers, um, I think makes it a really complete experience. Students will be able to learn horticultural techniques and horticultural skills in some of the classes. We also have uh, an ability for students to learn about sustainable aquaculture in aquaculture greenhouses that we have here at the UCSC farm. It is our ecological aquaculture lab. We are doing outstanding uh, aquaculture research that could help strengthen the stewardship of sustainable aquaculture program. Students are excited about our research and they are thrilled to join us and we are really, really welcoming. My name is Joji Muramoto. I'm a soil scientist and agroecologist studying fertility and soybean disease management in organic uh, production systems in California and mainly for strawberries. My passion is to do something useful for organic growers and uh, improve the sustainability. In addition to the coursework, there are a zillion internship opportunities that are available for students. Even in their first quarter on campus, students can do an internship at the UCSC farm. And so I am very focused on the ground every day with the students, making sure that the crops get planted, they get weeded, they get hoed, they get harvested. We market our produce through a CSA and uh, also through a twice a week farm stand that's on campus. Our produce really serves the Santa Cruz community and then the Santa Cruz campus community. It's sort of like this is the fundamental stuff in life, like the, you know, touching the soil, growing the food, feeding our community, and the opportunity to share this with students who have come here. Um, some people have never done this. Some people don't have any idea what a carrot looks like in the ground, and um, so that's powerful. This has been the best job I've ever had. I've made so many friends. I love coming to work every day. I was excited to finish my finals so that the rest of the week I could just focus on coming to the farm. Yeah, it's the best, most relaxing work environment with the best people around me. We also have a number of faculty in our department who really do research more in social aspects of food systems, um, thinking about how all of these different things are impacting those people that are actually working in the fields, living around the fields, and how it impacts the lives of everyday people. Food systems change doesn't happen only on the farm level. It's not simply a technical phenomenon or a biological one. They, they actually are co-evolutionary, one mutually shaping the other. What we are trying to address uh, is agroecology as a social process and who does agroecology. That whole realm that is interconnected with uh, the ecological side is, needs to kind of be studied through a social lens. We really do have to understand um, the potential and promise of agroecology to change the world through a social lens if we want to see it as more than like a garden project. For my PhD research, I'm working with small-scale Spanish-speaking farmers in the Salinas area. Uh, most of them come from Mexico, so they're either Mexican immigrants or Mexican-American. Yeah, they're starting their own farms, and it's really cool to see the ways that they're integrating practices that they've learned from Mexico. When we talk about agroecology, it's obviously a political project as well as like um, an ecological project. You know, our goal here at the center 
is really to transform agriculture. And we think about doing that through education and through empowering the next generation of students and learners and activists and farmers that are gonna be able to do that. The reason that I love my job is that I get to do the work of farming and I also get to share about it. Learning how much power and potential there is to bring agroecology to life through teaching, um, I think is one of the biggest rewards of the job so far. If you are interested in making a positive impact in the world and really changing the way that agriculture is done in this country and beyond, this is the major for you. You will be able to put your hands in the soil, get experience in the lab, and really be able to make a positive impact in the world.